Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace and welcome to the second episode of my Road to 100 DL series. Thanks so much for all of your comments on my first episode. I really appreciate it. It's great to know that all of you guys really like this type of series. So I'm definitely going to keep it going. So let's get right into the second episode. So as you see here, I actually have 19 Diamond Locks and 9 World Locks. That's actually less than I had at the end of the previous episode. The reason for that though is, as you see here, I actually purchased the Rayman's Fist. And the Rayman's Fist was about 117 World Locks when I purchased it. The price generally fluctuates around, but that's what it was when I purchased it. So I actually did gain World Locks since this last episode. But because I spent 117 World Locks on the Rayman's Fist, that's why I have less right now. I just want to show you quickly uh, how the Rayman's Fist can help me while farming. Let me see if I can find some chandeliers that were not yet broken. Here we go, here's some chandeliers that weren't yet broken in my area, so I can show you the Rayman's Fist in action. So basically the Rayman's Fist will allow me to punch three things at the same time. This makes it a little bit easier while farming. And so basically I can hit one, two, three, four, five, six, and all three of those chandeliers broke at the same time. Instead of having to do six punches, six punches, six punches to get all three, I can just do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they're gone. The only problem with Rayman's Fist is that you actually have to manually hit the punch button every time. So you can't really use it for a very long term amount of time, uh, but if you're just trying to get something done really quick, like what I'm doing right now, while I talk to you guys, I can just quickly hit the punch button a couple of times and I'm just spamming the punch button while I talk to you guys. You can probably hear my mouse click on the mic. So basically I can get these chandeliers broken way faster than if I was doing it without the Rayman's Fist. So now I'm going to put the Rayman's Fist away, I'll equip my heat bow again, and as you see here, almost all of the chandeliers in my break world have been broken. So basically I've been taking all the chandelier seeds that I got and replanting them all into my farm worlds. And my farm worlds are now totally full. And so I took the extra seeds and I went into my end world, Ace 5, which is right here. And I put all the extra chandelier seeds into this chandelier vending machine. And they are on sale for six per world lot. And I actually had a lot more in here. And as you can see here, they sold. I was selling the chandelier seed at six per world lot and they sold fairly fast. The only reason these haven't sold yet is because I just put them in here right before making this video. So I'm sure they'll sell very fast as well. So I'm just gonna go through this Vend World, Ace 5, and collect all the World Locks really quick just so we can see how much we made. First, let me check what we have before I collect them all. So we're at 19 DL and nine World Locks. So 1,909 World Locks, and I'm gonna start collecting everything right now. So here we go. We have 322 World Locks worth of chandelier seeds sold. There we go. Let's see, we have, here we go, we have 19 World Locks worth of anesthetic sold. That was 13 per World Lock I sold those for. And here we have 18 World Locks worth of antiseptic sold at 13 per World Lock, so we'll draw those as well. Here we have surgical clamps, seven World Locks worth of surgical clamps sold for 14 per World Lock. We have two World Locks of hospital beds sold at, I believe it was 30 per World Lock of hospital beds. Ultrasounds. Selling those for 13 per world lock, and I have 28 world locks of ultrasounds. At first, these weren't selling, and then all of a sudden they sold. So I don't know if the same person came and bought all of them, but it's pretty cool. So we got 28 world locks of ultrasounds sold. And over here we have lab kits. Lab kits, we have 19 world locks worth of lab kits sold for 13 per world lock. I'm gonna withdraw those as well. All right, now let's take a look at our total. Look at this. We now have 22 diamond locks and 124 world locks. Let me just make it easier let me just there we go i just took a hundred world locks and compressed them into a diamond lock so now we have 23 diamond locks and 24 world locks that's a total of 2324 world locks from collecting all this so after doing a little bit of calculating i realized we just added an extra 419 world locks to my total so uh most of that was from the chandelier seeds as you can see here but uh, a lot of it was also from the surgery tools so selling surgery tools has been doing well for me but as you can see here I have a, a few extra stitches in here, but that's because I just use this area to store my stitches. When I sell stitches, I actually take them out of this vending machine and I go into either the world buy surges or Vertopia General Hospital and I sell the stitches for five or three world locks. So I just use this vending machine to store it. But these other vending machines, as you see here, this one, which has antiseptic in it, still has some antiseptic left. And this has been here for a while and it's 162 antiseptic left. And there's also, as we see up here, ultrasounds that are left and some lab kits. So because it's been a long time and these haven't fully sold out, what I'm going to do is actually use the autoclave. A lot of people are not familiar with the autoclave, so I'm going to explain how it works right now. 
So for convenience, I'm gonna actually place another autoclave in this world, even though I have one in BGA break already. So as we see here, if I click on info about the autoclave, it says, wrench this device to clean your surgical instruments. And by clean, we mean exchange 20 of one instrument for one of every other instrument. So this is what the key thing about an autoclave is, is you can take 20 of a surgical tool that you don't need or that you that isn't selling well and turn it into one of every other tool. And so there is actually 13 different surgery tools and that includes stitches and sponges. And so that's what's key here, is that you take 20 of the really cheap tools that aren't selling. And in this particular case, it seems to be antiseptic that's not selling. So let me empty this machine here, 162 antiseptics. I'm also gonna take 128 surgical ultrasounds and 165 surgical lab kits. And those happen to be what didn't sell. So what I'm gonna do now is use an autoclave, which I'm going to actually place right outside here. So basically what I'm gonna do here is take all the tools that don't sell, put them through the autoclave, and only keep the tools that do sell. And so far, it seems like the tools that sell very well are stitches at five per three world locks, sponges at six per one world lock, antibiotics at 12 per world lock, and scalpels at 12 per world lock. The other tools sold, but it took a little bit of time. Those four tools that I just mentioned though, sold really fast. So what I'm gonna do is autoclave everything that's left and turn them only into those four tools. So here's what the autoclave looks like when you're about to use it. It basically shows you a list of all the tools that you have that you have more than 20 of, and you can click them. And then when you click them, it lets you destroy them and get one of each of the other 12 tools. So I'm gonna click yes right now. And you can't see that it just happened, but if I go into my inventory, here it is, see? I have one of every new tool here. So now that we know that the tools are appearing in my inventory, I can go back into the autoclave. What I wanna do is autoclave all of these tools until there are none left over. I'm going to do this right now and go through these while I talk to you guys. It doesn't actually take that long, which is actually very good and very convenient. I could just quickly click on it and then click on the yes button and basically it's turning these into one of every other tool. I'm almost done already and I just started. So that is pretty cool. I'm not even speeding this up. And we have ultrasounds almost done now. Um, the, the key thing you wanna take into consideration here is once you get 20 of any particular tool, it's gonna to appear on the screen. And if it appears on the screen, you wanna make sure you don't click on anything that you actually wanna sell in your vending machine or to other people. For instance, if I got 20 stitches, it would all of a sudden appear here. And like, see here, we just got back up to 20 ultrasound again. In this particular case, I do wanna actually use this because I do wanna autoclave the ultrasound. But you gotta be careful because it'll, the same thing will happen with stitches and sponges and you don't wanna accidentally go, if you're going very fast and just clicking the yes button really fast, stitches might show up here. Oh, like, see, exactly. Like, th this is exactly what I was afraid of. See, stitches just appeared up here, sponges and all these other things. I don't wanna autoclave all this stuff. You gotta be very careful. If you're going through this very fast, you don't wanna click here and click stitches because then it'll it'll show up here. It'll say, you wanna destroy these stitches. And if you're going really fast, you'll click yes. And that's really bad because then you'll lose a lot of profit. So I hit cancel on that. I didn't actually do it. So just be very careful about that. And actually, if you're really nervous about it, one thing that I do if I'm gonna autoclave a lot of stuff is I'll cancel out of this and I'll run over here and I'll go into my vending machine here and I'll add my stitches into the vending machine. I'll add the sponges into the vending machine and anything that else that I don't wanna accidentally autoclave. So in this particular case, it would be antibiotics over here. I don't wanna autoclave that. I also don't wanna autoclave my scalpels, which are right here. So I just added in the things that I don't wanna autoclave there. Now I no longer have to worry about accidentally clicking something and autoclaving it that I wanna sell. So anything that's left here, I can autoclave. So I'm gonna go right back into autoclaving again. All right, so now it says there's nothing else left that I can autoclave. It says you can exchange 20 of one tool for one of each of all the other tools, but you don't have enough tools right now to use it. So that means I autoclaved everything. So now since I don't have 20 of any tool left over that I wanna autoclave, I can put all this stuff back into my vending machine. All right, so I just put all of the tools that we just autoclaved back into all of these vending machines. So basically I realized that if you're buying surgery packs from people at seven world locks each, that you can sell stitches for five per three world lock, sponges per six per one world lock, and then you can sell any of the other tools for up to 22 per world lock and still make some kind of profit, but it won't be that much profit if you sell for that high. What I realized, however, is that if I sell tools for 14 per world lock or higher, I actually make less profit than if I just put those tools through the autoclave and keep only the sponges, the stitches, and all the other tools that I can sell for 12 per world lock or more expensive. Selling tools for 13 per world lock is about a break even point. So if things are selling pretty well at 13 per world lock, you don't have to take the time to autoclave them. You can just leave them there and then hope they sell. But 14 per world lock or anything higher than that, 15 per world lock, 16 per world lock, you'll definitely make more profit if you autoclave it and turn it into stitches, sponges, and other tools that sell for 12 per world lock or less.
But that's how you use the autoclave in a nutshell. But before we go back to BGA break, look if I come over here, it looks like someone just bought the antibiotics that I had here that we just autoclaved. They already sold for 12 per world lock and I have two world locks here. They sold incredibly fast. Maybe I should even raise the price, but for now I'll leave it at 12 per world lock. It looks like the scalpels have yet to sell, but it looks like we still have 37 scalpels in here that we got from autoclaving. We'll leave those here and we'll see if they sell by next episode as well. Going back in BGA break, let's go over here. Actually, if you look at this vending machine right here, this used to have donation boxes in it, which I had got from part, some of them for myself and some of them were donated to me from people. I sold them at two per world lock and they sold and I hadn't been collecting this for a long time, but I figured I might as well collect it so that this vending machine is not sitting here any longer. But there's 22 world locks here, so let me withdraw that and add that to my total. So I think this is going to be the end of episode two, guys. If you look at my total now, I now have 23 diamond locks and 46 world locks. We are getting up there, guys. And slowly but surely, we're moving up the road to 100 diamond locks. I hope you guys are liking the series so far. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be super awesome if you could give me a like. That'd be really great. What I'm going to do now is put a circle with my picture on it right in the middle of the screen right there. And if you're not already a subscribed to me, that would be awesome if you could click that circle and click subscribe. That way you can find out when I post my future videos. I'm also going to put a video in the upper corner of the screen right there. And if you want to continue watching some of my videos, feel free to click on that. All right, guys, until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace, reminding you to... Embrace the baldness.